Insta review, Sinister Dose 2. Um, all right, I had really low expectations for this because mainly Rotten Tomatoes had given it 14% fresh, which is pretty fucking bad. But then I remembered that Rotten Tomatoes also gave It Follows like 90% and called it one of the scariest movies of the year, when in reality, it should have gotten maybe 10% and was not one of the scariest movies ever at all. So I kind of was even hesitant about seeing it, but it's Sunday. I said, fuck it. Got some time to kill. Let me go see it. And I understand why some people might not like it. It's not as, I'd say, intense as Sinister was. Sinister was just a creepy fucking film. And um, there's some weird cello getting in next to me. What's up? Anyway, Sinister was just a fucking creepy film. And really dark, and there was no humor in it at all, and there wasn't too, it wasn't really cheesy. This definitely has cheesy parts. Um, it's definitely not as hmm, serious, like dark and unrelenting as the first Sinister was. But having said that, I was never bored, and some of the deaths, I'd say two or three of the whole movies were way worse than the ones that were in the original Sinister. I mean, one in particular, and people who see it will know what I'm talking about, it's the church murders, even kind of made me fucking a little bit skeeved out and not an easy feat, especially when you've seen as many horror movies as I have. So I'm kind of baffled how it got such horrible, horrible reviews. The only thing I can think is, if I describe this, it's Children of the Corn meets The Shining with Sinister mixed in with it, if that makes any sense. Uh... The ending, the very, very last shot was kind of hokey, but I didn't really expect much more than that. But all through it, it was really violent, really bloody. Um, and yeah, I actually did give a shit about what happened to the characters in this one. And um, so I'm really kind of surprised it's get sunny, such, getting such shitty reviews. I don't get it. Um, there's definitely been worse horror movies that have come out this year, worse movies, period. So... I'd say go see it, because if you already got low expectations, you are definitely going to be pleasantly surprised. Um, I wouldn't, if they're making part three, I just would have so many, you know, fucking annoying kids in it. But there was one kid who kind of was bringing the movie down. He was, like, trying to be, like, a a sinister villain, and the kid just came off as a, a sinister, overly dramatic gay kid. And you'll know who I'm talking about if you see the movie. He's, like, the leader of the dead children or whatever, and... He's just always saying stupid shit that doesn't need to be said. Like, you know, come out, come out wherever you are and just bizarre. Like, it's like, dude, you're not scary. Stop trying to be. And okay. But yeah, it was actually pretty decent. I'd say go see it if you get a chance. That's it.